Well, how goes it, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Korakat13, that woman with the deep voice. It is 4.46 a.m. My voice is really hoarse, and I have been itching to get started on my December to January LP. And considering that it's the holiday season, and for whatever reason I associate this game with the holidays, I figure you might as well start up. Kirby's Epic Yarn, my first Kirby LP. Now this is a game I've actually wanted to do for years. Like, I'm not kidding, I'm actually going to turn my audio exposure up on my microphone real fast. Because sometimes I come off a little quiet, so... Anyway, I think this is actually only my second or third platformer, like my 2D platformer. But anyway, yeah, so Kirby's Epic Yarn has been one that I've wanted to do for many, many years. I can't explain why, but I just always like this game. And the reason why I associate this game with December is mostly just because of the very chill music and just the good feels it gives. It's a very warm game. And not because of, like, family values and stuff like that, just... The yarn aesthetic, and I, I don't know, it's just, it's very warm and happy feely. Plus, there's an actual level where you scale up a Christmas tree, or Yuletide tree, whatever. So we're gonna get started. Um, you can see my little practice file right there. I've gotten all the way up to World 2. Uh, but we're going to start up File 1. And already... We got cuteness! Bottle D's! And now we have a ridiculous story. With wonderful music. Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom and here I thought the place and was called Planet Popstar. Also, fun fact, that castle you see in the background? Um, that is actually from Kirby Right Back At Ya, and has been the standard castle um, ever since... Uh, I forget which game it is. I think it's either Nightmare in Dreamland, or it's, um, Kirby Squeak Squad. Or maybe it was Air Ride, I don't remember. But yeah, it's been the standard castle since then. Anyway, getting introduced to our new bad guy here. He looks pretty, pretty stupid. And of course, being Kirby, he eats the foreign alien tomato made of yarn, because of course he does. I mean, if it was Yoshi, he'd do the same thing. Gotta love that mustache, man. Respect the mustache. We go from one mustache to another. See, that's not too foreign. This grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like... I think this is one of the first times we actually hear Kirby actually talk. It's so weird. Also, the original protagonist of the game. Yeah, this was originally supposed to be a game called, um... Uh, Fluff? Or Yarn of Fluff or something? I forget what the original name was called, but it was supposed to be... Um, a game about Prince Fluff, who's that guy... Kirby is rescuing. However, um, Nintendo higher-ups kind of went like, yeah, that kind of looks like Kirby. Uh, why not make it a Kirby game? So they did. And honestly, are you really that surprised that they converted this into a Kirby game? I mean, they do weirder things. They, they've made weirder things into Kirby games. Like, I don't know. Remember half the time he turns into a ball? Anyway, we got some dialogue here. I got a butcher. Um. Uh, thanks for saving me. What's that? You came from another world? Wow, welcome to Patchland. You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. You mean the string? I mean, we are yarn. I don't even know if that voice will come through the microphone. This is my castle, so feel free to look around here as much as you want. Oh, don't say that. I'll actually do it. It's actually a joke I say a lot. But yeah, so um, the main premise of the game is that this asshole named Yin Yarn has torn apart the dimension known as Patchland, a parallel universe to Dreamland. 
And yeah, he did a pretty damn bad number on it. I mean, look at this. On either side of the screen, you will actually see the uh, tears from which um, Yin Yarn has torn the world apart. And that's a bad thing, you know, you can't have people falling into space. So, Kirby being the good Samaritan that he is, or she is, whatever Kirby is, I'll, I'll get into that at some point later. Uh, being the good Samaritan that they are, uh, the Kerbmeister decides, eh, might as well. I'll sleepy Waddle Dee is best Waddle Dee. Alrighty. So let's get down to the basic controls here. Uh, much like many other Kirby games, you double tap on the D-pad and um, dash. Only in this game, Kirby turns into a car because yarn. Or as I like to say, reasons. I uh, use the two button to jump, but because Kirby is made of hollow yarn, and because this is not Yoshi's Woolly World, and he has not mastered the art of the third dimension, that is until Forgotten Land. Um, Kirby actually cannot fly in this game. Instead, you double tap the 2 button, and Kirby slowly descends as a parachute. It's pretty neat. And also, as you saw in the opening cutscene, Kirby cannot inhale in this game. So how is he going to ruin people's lives? Well, by doing this. Get out of here! I can't have you having a good time. That's Kirby's duty. If you stop to think about it, most Kirby games are actually pretty brutal because, you know, they're just having a good time and then Kirby shows up and it's like, hey, I can't have you having a good time. That's my job. Or I guess he thinks that they stole his cake or something. I mean, that was the plot of Squeak Squad. Was that he bumped my thing? Um, yeah, the plot of Squeak Squad was basically that Kirby thought that King Dedede stole his cake, so he went after him. Although, actually, if you look really close, um, turns out it's actually a Waddle Dee that stole it. Although, I guess since Waddle Dee is mostly Sir King Dedede, I guess that's, you know, stands to reason that it would be King Dedede. But anyway... Uh, let's see, other differences in this game compared to others. Well, for one thing, you actually... What the... Yeah, my remote fell asleep. I don't know what that's about. Uh, yeah, so unlike other Kirby games, and kind of the start of something, I don't know if this was... I don't know. Um, you have collectibles to pick up, very similar to the new Super Mario Brothers games, but they do serve a purpose, which we will see in just a few minutes. Uh, yeah, you pick up little furniture bits, as well as little metals that will serve as kind of like a, not a score, but something to award you more beads at the end of a stage, which, by the way, you are graded at the end of a stage, depending on how many beads you got. Um, right now I got gold rank, and you're also rated by your, um, by how long it takes you to take a hit. Currently I haven't taken a hit, so my current streak is 89, or, well, it was 89, now it's 102. And that number will continue to climb and climb and climb until you take a hit. It's kind of neat. But yeah, like I said, you can't die in this game. Instead, if you get squashed, um, you will instead be picked up by a weird angel thing and you will be brought back to wherever you got hit. Or at least a little further back. But at the cost of beads. Which, beats don't really serve much of a purpose in this game other than decorating your apartment. Which, again, we'll get into that later. But now we have the Happy Kirby Dance. And Happy Kirby Dances are always better with multiple Kirbys. And now he's happy. I'm always happy to make Kirby happy. But yeah, aside from the beads and the additional furniture, you also will be picking up little, um... CDs. The CDs are actually something that you will 
uh, you will get to view in the Pack Plaza. Um, every level has a hidden little CD, and it is that particular level's main theme. However, for levels that have different themes, or whatever, you will, um, uh, you will get just kind of a general world theme, or like a character theme, or sometimes even a boss theme. I'm not really sure, I kind of forgot, but anyway. Uh, Kirby just demonstrated another ability I actually didn't show while I was in level 1. Um, Kirby will turn into a little um, paperweight, and he will slam down onto enemies similar to Stone Kirby. It's pretty cool. And now we have seen the main major collectible of the game. The Magic Yarn, which connects two pieces of the main world map together. Yin Yarn has stolen um, the majority of these Magic Yarns. And it is your mission to help Prince Fluff get them back. Also, why does Prince Fluff have a full set of eyes when Kirby just has dots? I have no idea. Probably because Kirby comes from the standard universe, but then again, King DDD also has full eyes, so nothing makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, like I mentioned earlier, my voice is pretty hoarse right now. Anyway. I mentioned the apartment, and we are about to get into that mechanic. It's a pretty cute little mechanic. But anyway, I also mentioned Patch Plaza. Cash Plaza is where you will be um, observing your kind of achievements or whatever. Um, the cast, which we've only met a small amount. Um, collectibles that you get in the stages. Fabrics, more on that later. Um, metals, which are those 2-star, 3-star, 5-star things. Um, music you'll find throughout the game and cinematics. You can view them at any time, and it's pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm pretty sure you also will get to see a boss thing. But anywho, that's not very important. Kirby is about to become a homeowner, whether he likes it or not. A prince of love, oh, what an unexpected surprise. And who am I to your friend be? Apparently, uh, Prince Fluff has lost the ability to form coherent sentences. Also, I just noticed that Prince Bluff has kind of like a little cat smile going on. That's pretty cool. Lord Kirby, you say? He's a visiting from another world, you say? Uh, how exciting! My name is Adam Wool, and this is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Lord Kirby is helping you save a beloved of Hatchland. Oh, that's just wonderful! I am the manager of Quilt here. Please come inside for a moment, I insist. Alrighty. We now have access to Apartment 101, which I think is just funny. Unfortunately, Dom Wool does not teach you how to be a homeowner, but hey, it's a kid's game. I guess we should not question. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> well, I suppose it's not much to look at just yet. But I would be honored to have a one of a Prince of Love's guests staying here. And Kirby's happy about it. Mustache! A proper home must be a properly furnished. Please accept a gift from me. No. Feel free to furnish your new home in whatever way you desire. We'll discuss the rent later. So happy. Kirby's happy to be a homeowner. Go ahead and... Enjoy the space. If you have any questions, I'll be around. Nah, I'm pretty sure I can poorly explain it. Alrighty. So yes, Kirby is a homeowner. That's awesome. And throughout the game, you'll be gaining different fabrics for the um, background and the f right here on the ground here. And you can change it at any time. I might actually do it after every major world. Just because I think it's fun. Anyway. You furnish it by, of course, using the awesome power of the Wiimote. 
You know, you gotta have that. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Alrighty. You can place 24 items in your beautiful abode. And this is where you're going to place your shit. Right now we only have a few items, such as those, which we pick up in stages. Um, these items here, you use to furnish your house. It's not really essential, but eh, whatever. And every home deserves a nice little chandelier. Which I'm going to put right there. And Kirby is the king or queen of the household. Come on. There we go. And we gotta have, like, little subjects. I guess Prince Fluff can, uh... uh let's see. Yeah, right there. He can be my right-hand man. But, of course, it doesn't look quite right. So, I guess Waddle Dee can be my, uh... My left-hand person. Wallpaper. Alrighty, let's see here. Motif 1, Motif 2... Well, this just sucks. We are done here. Good day, sir. I think this is a nice-looking home. What do you say? It's not much now, but that'll change. Alright, once you have everything the way you want it, you can actually take a photo. I think that's pretty cool. And we'll just say that, because it's our first home. It's our first home photo in our new favorite dimension. It's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome. Guys, I am very excited to be doing a game that's not Mario for once. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, nothing. We'll just walk on out. No waddle -dees? What a shame. Mustache! Alrighty, saving in progress. Alrighty. Well, look at that. I think that's pretty cool. So, next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, uh, we will be proceeding into World 1, Grassland. Because, of course, we are. It has to be a grass world. Until then, I'm Corecat13. And I hope you all have a fantastic evening. Morning, afternoon, whatever. Bye.